so I'm going to tie a mayfly here. Uh, this one's called a vacuna mayfly, and for reasons that will become apparent. So this is like a cross between a mayfly and a muddler. So you could fish it as a dry, or fish it as a, you know, like a pulled fly to make a wake. So what I'm going to do, I have a one seventy here, this is a size 10, and I'm using a black tie-in thread, and I'm using a thickish black tie-in thread. And the reason for that will be shown in a because here I have the length that I'm going to hold while I tie it in, but I'm going to use that as my rib as well. Wrap that down, and leave it on the underside. So for the tail, I'm going to use this sort of coarse deer hair kind of elk hair kind of stuff because I like the fact that it has sort of like a pattern on the tip of it. So we take three, four fibers of that, fish can't count, and just set them so that the tips are fairly level. And I'm going to hold the curvature towards myself so that when I wrap that onto the top it should take that curvature with it and the tails will tend to sit up rather than there. Wrap back onto those and the final wrap should sort of splay them out a little bit. If you want you can wind through those but I don't find that it's necessary. And if you feel like one's in the way just pluck it out. Okay, so we're going to use uh, a type of alpaca dubbing from Vicuña Dubbing. And uh, this stuff is uh, comes in fine and in uh, standard. Uh, now, the advantage of it is that, uh, as far as I know, it's a, a, a hollow fibre, which should aid in the uh, floatability of the fly. So, uh, I like the colour of this one, this is cream, and I thought that would really suit a mayfly. And then I'm going to use this, which is the finer version of it, this is a claret. And I'm just going to put the tiniest wee hint of that, just at the tail. Now this, the, the fine is actually uh, almost like merino in, in texture. So. It dubs on quite easily, and I'm just going to create a little ball of that at the back. I always like to put some sort of thing like that, like claret or fairy brown, uh, in just at the rear of the the mayfly. It's just something that catches the eye to me, make me choose it out of the box. So now I'm going to wax up my tie-in thread. And we're going to use the cream one here, this is the standard. Now this is much more like seal's fur in texture. A little bit softer possibly. Shorter fibred. I'm just going to spread that down my tie-in thread and then twist it on. Create a body leaving maybe four or five mil at the front there. And that's just giving me a sort of a shaggy kind of a body. So we then take our black tie and thread and we're going to wrap up through that to create the rib effect of a mayfly. This is kind of like a like a muddler type mayfly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use two different types of deer hair. So I'm going to use this sort of very fine, uh, sort of lighter one, and then this larger, coarser, darker. So there'll be two sort of wings going on this. So I'll take a bunch 
of the short stuff. I'm going to tie that on to about the uh, length of the the bend. Pull down on that, holding it tight on top. Then I can take a couple of turns through these cut ends to create like a muddler head to give display around underneath a little bit more. And now we take our other deer hair, the darker one. And we'll take a bunch off that and that's going to be tied in about twice or so the length of what went on on the underneath. And we're going to use again the curvature of this pointing upwards. I'm going to set that on at about twice the length of the previous one. A couple of wraps to hold it in place. Let it splay out and then I'm just going to wrap through this progressing forward slightly as we go towards the eye. Then pull it all back. And get a wrap in behind the eye. Pinch that back in. And a couple of half inches in there. finish that off. Cut that. So now I'm going to trim this into shape. So I'm going to flip it upside down first and just cut straight across. Okay. And then I'm going to cut up at an angle. along to shape the, the head into sort of like a cone type shape. Super glue in there to fix the the head in position. So I'm just going to let it wick down in there. And then we'll take a hackle and clear out the eye. that back and that is our Vicuna Modeler May. And as you can see you could grease that up, cast it out and just let it float as a mayfly or because of the fact that it's a modeler if you strip that it'll create a nice wake for you as well.